Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Happy Tuesday. We are 36 days to the Street Rod Nationals in Louisville, and we couldn't be more excited. It's, uh, this, is a, this is gonna be a big day, I think. So, let me show you what we got going on here. There's Big Ron, under the big top. He's uh, sanding down the uh, hood, the back side of the hood and the back side of the deck lid. Getting those ready for undercoat, which... Uh, bedliner. Or bedliner, sorry. The... Uh, Back side of the rear fenders are already ready. So hopefully here in a little bit we'll be undercoating or bedlining the back side of the rear fenders, back side of the deck lid, back side of the hood. Now the reason for that is because we bedlined the inside. And when you when I open up the hood or the deck lid, I want it to match. I don't want a bright red underside of a hood that doesn't make sense, right? So we're just gonna make it match. Um, for those of you that didn't see the video yesterday, there's our gas heater installed. We even put the new German stickers on it. They're kind of kind of fun. I can't read them and they seem angry, so I'm guessing they're German. Uh, so there's that. I've got uh, this guy's in for a hood prop rod, but I'm missing, I'm not missing, I'm waiting on the little rubber bumper that goes here that it sits in. This has been installed. This came in last night. I just did an unboxing. I got, I got a box literally five minutes after I left the house to go get my wife from work. Uh, and it was from thinkparts.com. So this is one of the things I was in it, the lower uh, windshield seal that goes on the body. Um, I think it really cleaned it up. Um, honestly, this is probably one of the more transformational pieces I put on this car. Um, it just looks clean, you know? So anyway, what's gonna happen here is Ron's gonna get that ready to go. We'll get that undercoated, get that drying, hopefully by lunch. And then I'm gonna spend my time right here, as I have been, preparing the body to go onto the frame. Now, these two will switch spots here later. Um, we're going to roll this body right under, hit our jack points up here, and uh, lift the body up and uh, get it, hopefully, uh, sitting on this frame. Now, to do that, i got to get all the tape and bolts out of the uh, gasket or pan gasket. I need to go to O'Reilly's this morning and pick up a positive red battery cable that's the right length. Uh, that has just the end on the starter and then pick up an end for a battery and I need to run it through this hole. So I need to get that done um, and then it's uh, really about it guys. And then this thing comes over. I need to untape all that wiring to the best of my ability and clean it up before it gets over here. But uh, otherwise we should have the uh, body on the frame here today. Any luck? And parts undercoated and hopefully we'll get a box from vintage air cooled products with our cool steering wheel and shift knob and all the things and maybe we can get some of that installed uh, so see where that goes but we are steaming along here ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to bring you in and let you know 36 days lots of work happening lots of things to watch for later uh today should be an interesting video um so stay tuned Thanks for watching Brown's Rod and Custom. We're gonna get back to work. Have a great day. Hey guys, just wanted to bring you up the speed here. We've got the body hanging from the ceiling. Uh, we're getting ready to put the frame under the body for the final time and bolt it down. So I just wanted to let you guys see this. I'll turn this on and let it run when we actually start doing it so you guys can see what we got. All right guys, thanks for watching Brown's Rod and Custom.
what's there. We, we, now, the they, back needs to come down first. I need to go over the, the hair more. I have a pipe. Okay.
front on and then the back? I'm going to use the, uh, grab that board. Yeah. You know the one that we're using? Yeah. With the jack?
it up. Don't fuck the straps, just on the two. Yeah. And just sit and then grab onto one side or the other. I'm grab on the other side. side. So maybe you lift this side first. A little bit. And I have the strap. on the frame ladies and gentlemen be kind of cool if she was that low wouldn't it she's not but pretty slick all right so what we're gonna do now is start figuring out the body bolts front and back get it bolted down and then we're gonna jack it up and put the wheels and tires on it so that it's a roller and then we'll go from there but we'll video all this until the battery dies <laughs> so stay tuned guys what we need to do now is get the whole car up because we'll never be able to reach wheels and tires huh wheels and tires no get the car up so we can crawl under there and line up all these bolts all right let me go plug this in the church yeah you're right i'll be getting jacks together to lift Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
going to loosen this a little because what will happen is it could lift up. It should be fine, don't you think? Yeah. Now the question is, say we use these two jacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are we close? Your I jacks should go on the other side. Yeah. The other side. Yeah. But I'm thinking maybe we we jam. Yeah. There's almost no way to go in from here with the exhaust yeah. and ever get it up. So I think Okay guys, so that's the, uh, the body sitting on the pan. Um, now we're going to go ahead and start bolting it up. We're going to take a break, so I'm going to cut this here. And then we'll start bolting it up, and then we'll have the wheels on it in a little bit and drop it down, and we'll show you all that too. Thanks for watching Brown's Riding Custom. Hey guys, thought I'd bring you back kind of in the middle of this thing a little bit. We, uh, we got one wheel on. Body bolts are all on on the driver's side. They're going in on the passenger. I'm getting ready to uh, finish up the last body bolt in the rear wheel well. And then uh, I'm gonna put the, the back tire on on this side. Ron's running down the passenger side, putting all them in. They're all lining up really good. So, uh, looking pretty good here, guys. I 
really, really, really like the color with the wheels. I cannot wait to get fenders on this thing. We're looking at maybe painting tomorrow or the next day, so you guys know. Um, hood, back fenders, dash pieces, uh, rear fenders, deck lid, all of that. So, uh, steering column, uh, all the things. So, getting there. We're getting there, guys. I know we're 36 days at the Louisville, but really, it's not that far off, honestly. I did go ahead and hook up all of the bolts, all of the wires that go to the starter. Um, I got all of that hooked up to go to the engine and everything else. Um, there was a, a grouping of those, and I went ahead and hooked that up. And uh, I got the rear deck lid seal in, which I'll show you guys later. And uh, yeah, we're just getting there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this and uh, tell you where we're at. And I'll bring you back in a little bit. Thanks for watching Browns Riding Custom. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Browns Riding Custom. Well, the body's mounted on the frame. Check this out. I think you're going to like it. Here's your first look at her. In all her glory. In the sun. I think she looks really good. Get my shadow out of there. There she is, boys and girls. In all of her glory. Really proud of this. Now, mind you, it's sitting on a little bit of a decline here. The driveway kind of swoops down a little bit, so it looks like it's got, you know, it's a four by four in the back and not in the front, but it's really not as bad as it looks. But uh, yeah, we have been busting our butt on this today, guys. Uh, body is mounted to the frame, final time. It's ready. Um, we got just a whole lot done. Let me kind of go over what we did. Um, I got some of the seat springs in here at the moment. Uh, I bought a battery box I'm messing around with, see if I can't make something work over there. Um, put the shifter back in it, because I had to take it out. And then we, uh, <clears throat> trunk seals in, which is great. First look at the engine compartment. I got some wires just dangling there. But first look at the exhaust. Sorry if the lighting's terrible. I'm doing my best. <laughs> we even moved the 40 out on the street. I just love the way these wheels look on this car. With this color and the sun, it's incredible. Just love it. Okay, something else that happened. Uh, this guy was broken. My brake light switch uh, harness, so I replaced this. Um, and in doing that, one of the little clips broke, so we had to replace that, so that was fun. But that's in. Um, Big Ron went ahead and undercoated the, I think you guys have already seen this in this video, but here's the deck lid, it's undercoated. Thank you, Uncle Billy Bob, we love you. Fantastic. We've got the hood over here. Stuff's just everywhere, guys. It's been a day. The hood's over here, undercoated. It looks great. So we're good there. Windshield frames ready for a little bit extra body work, and then it'll be ready for paint. Rear fenders undercoated. So the plan next step of this is to untape these finish up any loose ends that they need and get all of this stuff painted. Um, that's the next step. Probably uh, tomorrow or the next day we'll start painting stuff and getting ready. Um, what else was I going to show you? I was going to show you something here, guys. I don't remember. So anyway, this is what we got. Um, we did get that box from Thing Parts, or uh, the Thing Shop, which is actually from ThingParts.com. Uh, I ordered it through Mike and Mike ordered it through the thing shop, but we got the trunk seal We got the windshield gasket that goes that the glass goes in uh, we got um, The seat tracks uh, With the springs and the covers and all the things to put the seats in this so that'll be coming up here soon. That'll be another project um, What else did we get? 
I don't remember. We got some stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, this is kind of where we're at. It's been a hell of a day. It's like 7.30 right now. We're out. Um, I did order today the missing piece we talked about for there for the gas heater. Uh, me and Mike are working our way through how to make this work. Uh, I ordered the glove box door with the radio uh, cutout. Um, so this will have a glove box door in it. So that I'm really excited about that. Now, I might do a poll on the channel and see what you guys think. I'm trying to decide whether I should do an original, like a classic auto sound style radio uh, with uh, Bluetooth and all of that so you can hook your you know play pandora or whatever off your phone um or should i do a modern style that comes out and up with a screen with navigation apple carplay android auto all of that so you would be able to drive this with navigation and all the things um i'm just not sure if that's too modern but i feel like a lot of people would really like to have that uh luxury It'd be like driving your normal car you know so your everyday driver so i don't know you guys tell me what you think if you're watching this leave a comment new radio old style radio let me know what you think um we're getting ready to start ordering that stuff up and uh you know i will i will say this uh my parts aren't here yet from vacp uh they were supposed to be here yesterday and for some reason and it has nothing to do with vacp they were great um brian over at vacp if you guys end up wanting any of this stuff get a hold of him he's fantastic um but it's sitting at the postal service in spring hill for another day and it's still not out for delivery when it was supposed to be delivered yesterday at by 9 p.m so now it's today by you know 7 30 ish so starting to wonder if i don't have to go over there and get my stuff i don't know but uh anyway we're gonna try to get, as parts come, we'll be throwing them on the car. Um, I think one of the next things that I'm going to be doing is running the weather stripping uh, down, starting right here, and running down and up and around and so on. Um, get that knocked out. Um, I do need to get the rear seats, the rear seat backs. I need to take the um, cushions off and then scuff them up and get them ready for paint. Uh, here in the next couple days and yeah so we're getting there guys so uh, we're gonna call it a night hope you guys enjoyed the videos today I tried to, to shoot some of the cool stuff we were doing because how often do you get to see a painted Volkswagen thing hanging from the ceiling that's uh it's kind of new um, but anyway I hope you liked it uh, please like and subscribe thanks for watching